Horses touch a deep place in our soul. The calm, quiet grace of horses grazing in a paddock calls out to that place inside that craves a moment of serenity in a restless world of constant hurrying. Up close, in a moment of pure stillness, you can see your soul reflected in the deep, tranquil pool of a horse's eye. And when a herd of horses gallops across the field in a symphony of thundering hooves, we feel a wild exhilaration echoed inside us that speaks of power and freedom of a kind we can only imagine and yearn for. The freedom is there for the taking. Join us on a journey with a horse and set your spirits free. This connection we have to horses has always been with us. It began with Ice Age Man and the cave paintings where images of horses guided man to the spirit world. We rode the horse through centuries of exploring and conquering new worlds, taming the Wild West and more. And when the automobile took its place on roads and byways, the horse gained greater popularity as sporting and recreational riding came into the domain of the everyday person. But the greatest journey that the horse would take us on was yet to come. In terms of how um, the history of how psychotherapists actually started using horses. Um, it's relatively recent. In the early 90s was when people in practice actually started using horses as, as an adjunct to their therapy work. But as you know, horses have been long a part of civilization's kind of bonding process and helping processes. And Aboriginal people, of course, have been using horses and thinking of horses as really symbolic um, in terms of uh, enhancing personal well-being, but also enhancing our connections between the material and the spiritual world. So in terms of horse, the horse-human connection, um, we have a huge, long tradition, certainly in, in North America, of, um, of connecting with horses in a, in a profound way. Horses have been working with people forever, for centuries and centuries, either clearing land or in war or opening new frontiers, I think in the last probably 10 to 15 years, there's been more leaning towards horses doing therapy. Horses are able to be so powerful in psychotherapy because they're incredibly intuitive. And that allows them to be a wonderful mirror to reflect back to people when they work with them, what emotions, what feelings, what experiences they're having. So there's an incredible trust and a, an ability to reflect back to people that doesn't exist in other ways of doing therapy. Horse Spirit Connections believes the next frontier in human evolution involves working with our emotions and raising our consciousness. They partner with horses to teach us about emotional intelligence and emotional agility. Being able to feel is one of the greatest assets as humans, and yet it is one we have the least mastery of. By learning to regulate our emotions, rather than suppressing them, we can evolve to a new level of consciousness. We can free the human spirit. I think horses have always had that intuitive ability. I don't know that it's always been discovered in terms of psychotherapy. I think that's new in the last 10 or 15 years. And I believe that horse therapy, horse, uh, horse psychotherapy, fits for a number of reasons. In this day and age, people are looking for quick results. And equine facilitated therapy is quick, it happens in the moment, and it's lasting. Working with the horses is powerful and it's, it brings about change when other things haven't. And when you stand in the ring with a horse and you have that moment, of really being connected, connected in that heart space with the horse, um, it's profound. So for, for people in psychotherapy or people who are having um, emotional or mental health uh, challenges, it's actually a really helpful um, strategy to come into one's own body and um, get a sense of what's happening uh, in terms of body awareness. So through the process of connecting with the horse through our bodies and through our breath, we actually also develop a much um, better sense of what's happening inside our bodies, which helps us better understand overall what's happening with us psychologically, physically, uh, behaviorally, emotionally. And so I think working with the horses um, is kind of revolutionary in that way in terms of um, what it can bring to the work of psychotherapists by helping us cultivate, uh, validate, understand and access uh, our intuition. Emotions are our instinctual connection to life. They give our lives meaning. They can rejuvenate us physically and enable our spirits to soar. Um, I've spent many years in the horse field and uh, had skirted on the edge of, of the uh, equine facilitated learning, but uh, when I found Horse Spirit Connections on the internet, uh, it was just, it was the right place to go at the right time. I went in the ring thinking it was 
uh, the exercise was something I knew. It's called Active Round Pen. And it was something I knew how to do. I'd done it before. It was going to be easy. This was a shoe in I knew how to do it. And I went in the ring and he said, no, you don't know how to do it. And this isn't what it's all about. It's not about doing. And it's not about your ego. And he challenged me. At uh, that moment, I just realized just the, the wisdom and the power of them that they, when you let, let them, they allow you to learn so much. It's calming, it, it's, it's, it's fun to come and work with the horses, and, but it's challenging. Every time I come here, I learn something, I'm challenged to dig a little deeper in myself, um, find that voice inside of me, and then have the courage to go back out into the world and actually use that voice. Uh, I went home after five days here this weekend, and my colleagues at work said, you're standing taller, you look braver, and there's something different about you. Horses are masters of emotional intelligence and have much to teach us about our own emotional agility. Highly intuitive, they use emotion as information, responding accordingly and then releasing the emotion and going back to grazing. Unlike humans who hang on to feelings that no longer serve them, horses live in the moment. Before I did the field program, I came to Horse Spirit Connections and did a weekend workshop. In the course of the you know, the, the workshop, we were taught to remember how it felt to get out of our heads and to get into our hearts. The goal of the whole thing was to approach the obstacles from our heart space rather than from a head space, which is really hard to do. You know, thinking about leading the horse, the obstacles, and which way I was going to go and how it was going to happen, so I had to get out of my head and get into my heart. The best part about this experience was that horse would not move forward if I was in my head thinking how I was going to move forward. I mean, she wouldn't budge. She planted all four feet. I had to get into my heart space and move forward with her from that place. She moved willingly like a dream. It's certainly uh, changed my career path. I, it's so hard to describe because it's such a, an all-encompassing feeling. My whole life has changed for the better. Nonverbal communication is the language of the horse. Through their limbic system, they read their environment, sensing heart rates, breathing, emotion, and body language. Without judgment, they read and mirror what's inside us, bringing to light our authentic selves. I was really searching to find uh, a program that resonated with me in, in the work with the horses and I had done a couple others and after talking with Wendy and getting a feel for who she was I felt very strongly that it was a program that would really resonate with who I was and really honored the horse as a teacher and also encompassed that spiritual essence as part of the uh, program which is really important to, to me. The experience that I went through, it was one of the first times in my life that I can remember where I felt that I got clarity on this is what I'm supposed to do with my life. I, I have an awareness usually when I'm with the horses that they're constantly teaching us. That's been something that I've always had an awareness of, but during um, a meet the herd session she came over to me and I had a really profound emotional moment with her and um, really felt that I needed to have an experience with her in the round pen to really see what it is that I needed to learn or that she had to teach with me. You know, I really was able to really let go and allow her to guide me through that experience and I can remember how she was so present with me and just stood there and really felt how she was really urging me to really connect to that place and just walk the path. It, it gave me, um, I think, that access to my purpose. Horses as teachers not only empower us to be emotionally agile and authentic, but they also empower their own species. Age or injury no longer means that a horse has outlived its usefulness. They come to horse spirit connections and are rehabilitated to take on the respected and honored role of teacher, and in doing so they are leading us to a new vision of the future. At Horse Spirit Connections, we are committed to developing better ways for humans and horses to interact in a manner that promotes wellness for both. We rehabilitate horses to step into an honored and respected role of wise teacher in an environment that is comfortable and safe for all. 
We are a sanctuary where the heart soars, passion sings, and joy is shared between humans and horses.